Welcome back. Most Americans know that federal agencies don't have the power to influence elections. They're supposed to be neutral and uninvolved. And guess what? Most Americans would be wrong. And that's all because of a shadowy executive order that pretty much flew under the radar. At the beginning of his presidency, Biden signed an executive order, number 14019, which directs executive departments and agencies to, quote, partner with state, local, tribal, and territorial election officials to protect and promote the exercise of the right to vote, eliminate discrimination and other barriers to voting, and expand expand access to voter registration, and here's the key part, and accurate election information. That roughly translates to having hand-picked political appointees from federal agencies, creating plans to increase voter participation by, you guessed it, spending your taxpayer money. Sure, we need more Americans to register to vote, but why is the administration being so secretive about its efforts? So far, they've ignored public records requests surrounding the implementation of this quote-unquote partnership. And I don't blame them. The White House has no authority over state elections, only state legislatures do. And in carrying out this order, these agencies may have violated several laws like the Hatch Act or the Anti-Deficiency Act. But let's be honest, the only reason Biden signed this executive order is to benefit his party and ensure the Democrats remain in power in perpetuity. There should be full transparency around all elections, and the federal government is not supposed to put its hand on the scale in favor of one party or another. Joining us now is Taryn Bragdon, the president and CEO of the Foundation for Government Accountability, who sued Biden's Justice Department for stonewalling requests for details on the implementation of this federal election scheme. Thanks so much for joining us. Explain to Americans what you saw, what you're doing, and the court fight that is going on to expose what Biden put in place with the federal government. Well, Jason, you explained it really well. Just days after the president was sworn into office, he issued this unprecedented executive order commanding literally hundreds of federal agencies to increase voter registration and voter participation, get out the vote. You know, think about this. We elect who will lead our federal government in the White House and in Congress, but now we have our federal government using our tax dollars and their bureaucrats to try to influence elections. So we sued and said, let's see these plans you have asked the agencies to provide. And we won uh, in the first round of court, but we got back just redacted documents, blacked out. What are they hiding? If this is appropriate activity, then they should be transparent. But instead, they're delaying, they're denying, and they're hiding. You know, there are millions of federal employees. We know that more than 90% of those federal employees, if they donate, they donate to Democrats. The Democrats are in charge of this bureaucracy uh, at the moment. And you think of all the, the 2 million plus federal employees, all their buildings, and yet, when you ask for the, those documents, they claimed executive privilege, is my understanding, that the president has executive privilege on these documents, and they will not release these plans on how they're participating in elections. You're absolutely right. And it's just ridiculous to think something as fundamental as our right to vote is being influenced with our tax dollars and the federal government and they refuse to turn over their documents. You know, it'd be a lot easier if Elon Musk took over the Department of Justice, then we'd see the files and get the information. Right. But instead, we're taking the Department of Justice to court and ultimately we'll win and see what their plans are. You know, part of the suit that I read is in part of the executive order is that the federal government would partner with selected and approved non-government organizations, NGOs that they approved. It wasn't open to everybody, only the ones that they selected. You're absolutely right. This is essentially having federal tax dollars contract with partisan groups to increase voter participation. It's what political parties do, but the president is trying to do it through executive order and our tax dollars. And this is just part of an unaccountable and out of control federal government. And we need to put a stop to it and hold their feet to the fire. And that's exactly why we sued them. We're standing up and fighting and pushing back and we're winning. 
Well, you're doing a great job. Keep that suit going. Executive Order 14019. Look it up, read it yourself, and you'll be disgusted as I was. But thankfully, you took in the lead, and I, I hope you prevail in court. Everybody deserves to know how their taxpayer dollars, their federal, the federal employees, and all the assets of the federal government are being used to help one party and one party alone. Taryn, thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.